Lawyer Fair helps uh, match the legal needs of businesses with uh, a pre-approved panel of lawyers. So what that means essentially is we help businesses get best value from legal services by crowdsourcing their work out to uh, panel lawyers that we have pre-approved and therefore we can guarantee the quality of them. And those lawyers then compete for the work. So it's, it's a fast, free and competitive service for business owners. No, it was, a bit, it was a kind of slow fuse really because uh, I've used lawyers, uh, I've worked with lawyers and I've used lawyers for many, many years and I felt that, um, and I was in an advisory role until quite recently, so, so it's a fresh uh, internet business for me. So the, the light bulb moment came slowly and it was just a feeling that there, was a, that there needed to be a more efficient way and a more competitive way for businesses to find really good quality lawyers. And uh, so I sat down one day with uh, my now co-founder and over a discussion we thought there was a better way and we feel that Lawyer Fair is that. Uh, well, I actually think now it's incredibly easy to start a business. The challenge is that it's almost too easy because um, running and launching a startup is very, very challenging. And I think some people don't underestimate the challenges. So I think now we're in an era when starting a business actually with the internet and with um, methodologies, meth methodologies like Lean Startup, for example, which is all about launching very, very cheaply and learning as you go. So I think it's an amazing time to launch a business. The, the biggest trick for me was in terms of more about my age profile. I think when you're launching, uh, as I did in my 40s, you've got family commitments and mortgages. So there's a, there's a huge decrease in your, in your personal income. So that was probably the trickiest thing and, and the thing I really had to grapple with the most. But no, I think, I think um, if you want to start a business uh, now, it's the best time ever. Uh, well, I think there's a couple of things probably on reflection. Uh, one is don't try and do too much yourself, particularly in terms of uh, even small admin stuff, which, you know, it's not where your skill set is. Get on board as quickly as you can, people who can help you with stuff you're not good at. And, and again, I, the ability now to find freelancers, the ability to find people all around the world who can actually pick up some of the slack is incredible. So I should have got on, cottoned onto that a lot quicker because I got rather burdened with stuff that I wasn't very good at. Um, and the other challenge is time. I mean, I, mean, I was involved in, in businesses before, so I kind of knew that um, everybody overestimates their forecasts uh, and underestimates the time. And I think it's even more acute in a startup because the, the time it takes to get traction, unless you're incredibly lucky, is always far longer than you expect. So, you know, don't overestimate how amazing your idea is going to be. The market has to find out about it, and that's a challenge. Well, there's clearly, there's clearly obvious high-profile examples where an individual was made for entrepreneurship. You know, they were selling, you know, second-hand widgets out of the, in the school playground. So I, there are certainly those that are born. I think you can, I think again in the modern era, you can, you can um, develop entrepreneurial skills possibly uh, easier than you could in the past. I mean, I don't think I, I think I had entrepreneurial elements to me, but I think I liked, uh, I liked a salary. I like slightly safer environments, but then I gradually realised actually I really want to have a crack at this commercial world and I think I've developed quite late. Uh, so I think the answer is they can be both. I think tenacity and determination, which I think is probably the difference between those that make it and those that don't. For all the cash that you have, for all the entrepreneurial brilliance you might be able to, to provide, actually if you're not determined to stick it out through the tough times that we mentioned, then you'll fail. So I'm pretty determined. Uh, I also um, believe in what we're doing, which is another key factor of anybody starting a business. I really believe in what Lawyer Fair is doing, and that keeps you going in the morning, because if you don't believe in it, frankly, it's going to go nowhere, and you, you might as well take a job. You are going to take a big hit in your personal life, in your income, in your stress levels, in various other things that, when you're employed, you don't think about. You can only do that if you really believe in what you're doing. Yeah, I think, I think two, two key things. First of all, don't be afraid, just go for it. The opportunities are brilliant out there, you can do it very cheaply, uh, and the only way you'll learn, frankly, is if you go and do it. Um, for all the support services, for all the mentors, for all the advice that's out there, it's not until you get your hands dirty with starting up a business. And I say this personally, having been in business for, for a long time, the only way to really learn is to go and do it yourself. Um, get some good mentors around you, recruit really talented people if you can, although that's a big challenge for growing companies, but just go and do it. Uh, undoubtedly that you have complete freedom, you have the ability to choose your day, you have the ability to choose your business, you have the ability to choose the people that you work with, and I, I, you know, I can't recommend it highly enough. And uh, if you're thinking about it, you should definitely do it.